the babies and all of those that are watching us with the peace of the Lord Jesus. Let's close our eyes so we can plead by the blood of Jesus, so we can have fellowship with the Lord. Let's close our eyes. Lord, at this moment, we want to plead by the blood of Jesus. Clean our hearts. Remove everything that does not please you, everything that doesn't glorify your name, so we can have fellowship with the Lord. This is our plead. In the name of Jesus, amen. And now, we're going to sing a song. I know that on the cross, his blood was shed because Jesus died on the cross to save us. I know that on the cross, his blood was shed. There died my Lord. But on the third day, he rose again. To give me a heaven of love. I want a Jesus that saves me. I want a Jesus that saves me. I want a Jesus that saves me. With him, I want to go to heaven. In heaven? In heaven. In heaven, I want to live with my Jesus. In heaven, in heaven. In heaven, I want to live with my Jesus. Let's sing another song. Jesus Christ is the way. Jesus Christ is the way and the guide of value. He saves all of those who trust in his love. Jesus Christ is the way. Jesus Christ saved me. I was saved by the grace that was deposited in me. I was saved by the grace that was deposited in me. And now, I'm going to read a text that's written here in the book of John, chapter 3, verse 16. It talks about the great love of God for us, but it's very, very big. It's very great that he gave Jesus to be our Savior. And I'm going to read the text, and you're going to pay attention. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Today, we're going to learn about salvation, salvation in Jesus. But why is salvation in Je Jesus? It's a gift. Salvation in Jesus is a gift that God gave us. Let's look at this gift. When God created heavens and earth, he also created the stars that shine in the sky, the moon, the sun, the birds, the animals. Look, all the birds here in the land, the animals in the ocean, the fish, the trees that give us fruits. What a blessing. All of this God created by the power of his word. But now, who is going to take care of all of these things? Do you know who? man god created the first man adam and he created the first woman eve and he placed adam and eve to live here in this garden in here in this garden god placed a tree called the tree of the knowledge of the good and bad and he told adam and eve to not eat from this tree he could, they could eat from every tree. But the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, he said that they could not, not eat. You know why? Because God, he knows us. And he knows what's best for us. And he taught Adam and Eve that they shouldn't eat from that tree. Because if they did eat, they would lose the blessing of God. They would lose eternal life. They would die. But Adam and Eve 
Did they obey the Lord? Did they hear the voice of the Lord? No. They disobeyed. And look what happened. They went and they ate from the tree, from this tree. And look, they had their hearts full of the blessings of God, full of joy. They had Jesus in their hearts. Look what happened. Look what happened to their hearts. It was empty. There were empty hearts, sad hearts, because they disobeyed God. Disobedience does not please God. You know what disobedience does? It takes away man from God. And the sin enters the man's heart. And this is what happens. It becomes sad. It becomes empty. And a heart without Jesus. Then Adam and Eve heard the voice of God. And you know what they did? They hid. They hid from God because they were embarrassed. They were embarrassed from God. But God knew about everything, right? Yeah, he did. But the love of God is so great, so great, that even still, God went there and talked to Adam and Eve. And they told everything to God. And you know what God did for them? Out of an animal's skin, they made, he made clothes for them. Clothes for Adam and clothes for Eve. An animal had to die so that God could make clothes for them. In the same way that this animal died here, one day Jesus, the Lamb of God, died for us to be our Savior, to give us, give us eternal life with God, to give us peace, to give us joy. So salvation, it's a gift from God. But is it a gift that people from this world can give us? No. It's a gift that only God, only God can give to us. You know why? Because this gift right here, look at this gift. It comes from up above. It comes from heaven. It came from heaven to us. Who is, who is this present? It's Jesus. It's Jesus, our Savior. So we learn today that salvation, it's a gift from God. And who is this gift? Who is this present? Jesus, our Savior. Amen. And to us that are parents and those responsible, salvation is the greatest inheritance that, that we can give to our, our children. It's the teaching that God left for us. Because doing so, they will grow up obedient in the fear of the Lord. They will have their own experiences of salvation because salvation is individual. But God gives us the capacity to teach our children. In doing so, they will grow. They will grow having eternal life with God. Amen? So let's sing a song. How amazing is the love of God. How amazing. How amazing. How amazing is the love of God. Revealed on Calvary, Jesus died for us. How amazing it is to announce this love for you that are here today. Come see it, come receive it, and the joy will overflow your soul. How amazing, how amazing. How amazing is salvation. We will not die. Yes, we will be eternally with our God. Eternally with our God. And now we're going to end glorifying the Lord for this amazing gift, this amazing present that he gave us for having Jesus in our hearts, for having Jesus as our, as our Savior. Lord, at this moment, we want to glorify you, to bless you for this blessing, this amazing blessing that you have given us, for salvation, for the sacrifice of the Lord Jesus for our lives. We glorify you for this great love towards our lives. In the name of Jesus, amen. <laughs>